Hi guys, Dane here, and today we're going to be making a start on my February 2020 book haul. So let's cut to all of the books that I've received. Alright, I have some books that have arrived in the post. I did some shopping, so I've already forgotten what they are. What's this? Okay, this is The Last Kingdom by Bernard Cornwell. Um, there's a TV series on this which I've quite enjoyed. So, in fact, I just flicked in at random and someone was shouting Shield Wall, which seems to happen a lot in the in the series. So yeah, I thought I would check out the books and see if the books are any good. I think there are like 12 in the series, so I might be busy for a while with those. Here we have Agatha Christie, Hercule Poirot's case book. I just, um, you know, I haven't quite finished reading everything that Agatha Christie wrote, so I thought, why not pick some more up, you know, and get to them. Oh, this is, this is not a drill, an Extinction Rebellion handbook. Um, and I'm guessing you guys know who Extinction Rebellion are. They're, um, they're a group that's all about, you know, promoting the fight against climate change and living a more sustainable life, you know? So I'm keen to see what this is like. This is Agatha Christie, 450 from Paddington. My God, that is large print. Um, I think it is actually a specific, yeah, it is a specifically a large print edition. But at least that means I'll whiz through it, I guess. Uh, and it's a Miss Marple story. I think it might be the only Miss Marple story I haven't read yet. So that's what came in the post today. Charlie Heathcote sent me this, Veg by Jamie Oliver. Easy and delicious meals for everyone. So he happened to mention in one of his vlogs that he had two co uh, copies of this. So he very, sent, very kindly sent me out his copy. And I really appreciate it. Um, it's always good to learn some new recipes. Hello, just one book. Uh, I got uh, Kirk Sandblaster vs. Protocol 9 by Ollie Jacobs. I should be reading this for Tarden Danes, indie read along. Uh, I've enjoyed the other Kirk Sandblaster books in the series. They're kind of humorous sci fi a la Douglas Adams, I guess, even though I'm pretty sure Ollie's never read Douglas Adams. And uh, yeah, I also happen to be this book's first sale, so that's pretty cool, right? It's new, it's only just come out, but you should definitely check it out. Oh, here we go. It, do you know what? The, the, on the bottom here, at the bottom of the blurb, readers call Kirk Sandblaster a fast-paced action comedy, ec exotic and esoteric, and reminiscent of Douglas Adams. I feel like, I feel like that might be me who, who, called, who called it reminiscent of Douglas Adams. I'm going to ask him that. I have a book to show you, a single book. This is another one of the ones that I write Spark Note style summaries for for my clients. So this is Work Inspired, How to Build an Organization Where Everyone Loves to Work by Aaron Ayn, CEO of Kronos. The only thing is, is this client is like behind in paying me. So at the moment, I don't really want to start writing this review. I'm going to wait till he's paid me. But yeah, more books coming soon as well because I've treated myself to some because I've been feeling sad. Hello, I got this in the post and I think I know what it is. Well, okay, I don't know what this is. I didn't ask for this, I've just been sent it. But it does sound interesting. We're living through the breakdown and here's what we can do about it. Uh, we're living through the breakdown, a time of enormous political upheaval, but many of us feel ill-equipped to understand and debate the issues currently rocking our world. It's all about Brexit, immigration, austerity, tax cuts, privatization, and the ban on plastics. All right, does sound interesting, I will read this. Okay, I have this parcel has arrived in the post. Okay, this is Walk On by Amy McLean. Uh, Amy is a YouTuber and uh, she does booktube from now, from now, from time to time. And uh, weirdly, this book came from uh, Germany as well. I think somebody might have been reselling it, but basically I didn't want to buy it through Amazon. So, you know, and uh, yeah, I look forward to reading this soon. As Maggie walked down the aisle, she thought she was entering a happy marriage. Over the years, though, Peter's violence towards his wife has escalated. As Maggie escapes into the four walls of her mind, her guardian angel steps in to help her find the right path. Angel Ariana calls upon the past life of Balgoni's Fiona McGonnell to assist Maggie. Will it be enough to guide her through, or will Maggie's life continue to be at risk until it's too late? I look forward to finding out. Okay, so I have uh, five things here to talk about. Um, I'll start with these. These came from Fly on the Wall Press, um, which is run by uh, Elizabeth Kenyon, and also, I believe, Attractor Faye. Faye, I'm not sure how to say her surname, uh, who is one of the, the one of the authors I've got here. Basically, um, I've been sent a few books by Fly on the Wall, and I've really enjoyed all of the ones that I've read. 
And um, Isabel asked me if I wanted to read this one, which I'll show you first. And um, then she sent me these others as well. In fact, I can tell you a little bit about each of these, I think. So this is the one that she sent me. This is Birds Who Eat French Fries by Michael Maul. Uh, these are all poetry books as well. I'll read you a quick poem from each. Why not? So we've got Autumn. Not only did my hairs begin falling from my head, but then within days, bristles began falling from my brush. This is when it occurred to me. I may well be dealing with forces larger than myself. Very cool. Um, then we have Dinner in the Fields by Attractor Faye. And um, yeah, so she is, I guess, the, um, the co-founder of the press. Let's read what we got. Let's find a short one. Here we go. Moon World. It's lonely here, I said to my son, my ears holding his voice, traveling thousands of miles through ether. My eyes gaze from the window, moon floats on night sky, stars watch. I miss you, maybe I could visit. Mum, you cannot follow your children around the world looking for meaning. Go by yourself or stay at home and write a poem. Through the lump in my throat, I muttered, true. So yeah, dinner in the fields. And then Alcoholic Betty by Elizabeth Horan. And I've read some of uh, Elizabeth Horan's stuff before because um, I think she wrote, was it Bad Mummy, Stay Mummy? Um, so this looks like a longer collection. This one's actually quite a chunky one. I'm trying to find a short one for, for you guys. Baptism Gone Awry. When I attack my birth, my lord, re-engorges, recalcitrant. I chant in tongues, gobble it up, gobble it up. Virile shangons and vuries, and nevertheless, an uptick bang and Uberdeen bullshit. This is the sermon of the lost of the unquantified he gives us. So yeah, three poetry books there. And then I have these two that my doctors sent me because I have to go to counselling again. I've, I went to counselling, well it was group therapy for my anxiety. I went last year in October-ish time. Um, and now I'm going to group therapy for depression. Yay! Um, but they didn't send me these before, so I'm interested to, to get to these. Um, an Overcoming Publication. These are by Brenda Hogan and Lee Brosen. And we've got An Introduction to Coping with Anxiety, 2nd Edition. And An Introduction to Coping with Depression, 2nd Edition. Alright guys, so there we have it. Those are the books I got in February. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these and if so, what you thought of them. Let me know if you want to do any buddy reads, although I have a feeling I've probably already read most of these books by this point. But anyway, hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.